videos at nearlyheadless.com. Hello, the freeware that we will be reviewing today will be Weebly. Weebly is a free drag and drop website creator. It's very easy to use, you have no need for any prior knowledge of HTML or any technical knowledge. Basically, if you know how to use your computer, you should be able to figure out how to use Weebly to build your own website. And what I mean by drag and drop is you just select an element that you wish to place on your website. Let's say, for example, text. We pick the text element and just simply drag it and then drop it onto the page where you want that element to be. Then, once the element is placed there, you simply click on it and use it for its function. For this example, it's text. So we'll click in the box and just type some text. So let's say you've built your website and now you want to get it online. Not only do Weebly offer a free website creator, but they even offer to store your website on their free cloud servers. So there's no need to worry about a hosting plan. You just simply click publish and your website will be published onto the internet on Weebly's cloud servers. But before any of that, we have to decide on what our web address or URL will be. Uh, there are several options here. You can uh, buy a domain name through Weebly. You can use your own third party domain name from, for example, godaddy.com or you can use a free Weebly subdomain name. What I mean by a subdomain name is that your address will read something like www.weebly slash yourwebsitename.com Right, now that we've got that down, let's look into monetizing your website. There are a couple of options here, some better than others. It depends on what you're trying to get out of your website. Let's look at the free package first. With Weebly Free, there's an AdSense advertising element. Obviously, you have to be signed up to AdSense beforehand, but that's a fairly simple process. The huge drawback with this is that you have to pay 50% of your advertising revenue to Weebly. How this works is you don't directly pay them from your AdSense account. What you do is you cycle through half of their adverts with half of your adverts and that's where they get their 50% share from. So like I said it depends on what you're trying to get out of your website. If you're trying to make money from your website then this is definitely not the option for you. If your website's just there for fun or for perhaps educational purposes or for charity then you might want to try the free option or you may want no adverts at all. However if you would like to make money from your website you may want to look into purchasing Weebly Pro as on Weebly Pro you get 100% of all your revenue from your adverts including from AdSense so you can use any affiliate you want, any third party affiliate program including AdSense and you'll get 100% of the profits it works in a different way, you won't use the AdSense element instead what you do is copy the code that you've made for example within AdSense and paste it into the custom HTML box uh, that Weebly provides and then basically you embed the adverts onto your website and it's not done through the AdSense element so like I said you get 100% of your profits this is definitely the way to go if you're looking to make money off your website so in that case let's have a look at what some of the extra features are included inside of Weebly Pro. We have the option to password protect your website or certain pages upon your website. Uh, we have its own dedicated video and audio player so if you wanted to have something exclusively on your website and not put up a video embedded from YouTube you can use this option. Also we have the ability to have up to 10 Weebly websites. Next is the visitor upload field where you can have people who visit your website 
upload their own content. For example, if you have a Creative Commons website and you want people to put up their own photos for other people to use or something of this nature, then you can use this field. I think the upload limit is about uh, 20 megabytes which depending on what you're trying to put up is enough for a video you might be stretching it a bit unless uh, you compress it or it's not too high a quality but if you're just looking to upload pictures or perhaps audio files then this could come in very handy then we have advanced stats I say advanced stats because you get some stats on the free version but the ones on the pro version are just juiced up a bit what this stats section basically is is a dumbed down version of Google Analytics. Then we have the option to remove the Weebly footer message. As on the free version, there is a message from Weebly trying to encourage other people to check out Weebly. It's not very big and it doesn't it doesn't show up very much, so it's not that big a deal. But if you're trying to make your website look more professional, you probably want to remove this. Another nice perk of having Weebly Pro is the premium email support option. On the free version, there is email support. However, if you have the pro version, the premium support basically bumps you up the email list. So your emails get read before those on the free version. These are just a few of the highlighted extras that you get on the pro version. If you wish to look at all the features available, then there will be a link in the description box where you can check out all the features for yourself. OK, so let's talk about a few of Weebly's shortcomings. One of the things that can be extremely annoying when building your website is how sometimes it can become extremely fidgety when you have multiple elements cramped in a small space on a page. Trying to pick out the precise element that you want to use or move can become quite difficult. However, I think one of the most disappointing things is that they don't have much diversity in their hosting options, as if your website starts to become more popular and you wish to have shared servers or perhaps dedicated servers, then the option to upgrade through Weebly would be a great asset, as your website might have become more popular, but that doesn't necessarily mean you understand how to use HTML or build a website with Dreamweaver for example. So it's a shame that these options aren't available. I think if you wish to it is still possible to host your Weebly website on a third party server. However I'm guessing it would be quite tricky to do so. That set aside, this freeware is an amazing piece of kit if you're looking to build a website. It has plenty of options and a fair amount of flexibility for something that you can get for 100% free. And to show we practice what we preach, why not come take a look at our website that we built with Weebly. You can find the link to our website in the description box. Also, should it be of interest, at a later date I shall probably be making some tutorials on how to create a website with Weebly. So watch this space. I hope this was helpful and informative. If so, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.